and uh, the lovely where we can find people like uh, Stones of Eden and Brad and uh, Donna Horn who are joining us this evening in the, and we have Joe in the background there as well. Hi, Joe, give us a wave so we can see you behind the microphone and stand there. Sorry. And uh, so adding a little bit of colour on the piano with us as we welcome Stones of Eden, Brad and Donna. And uh, Donna is a little bit like my wife. She's a crazy chook lady. And, uh, <laughs> they have I'll just have to check in the two babies. <laughs> <laughs> Um, my wife is out looking after our chooks at the moment, and uh, Donna, I, uh, I hope that yours are safe as well today, and that uh, all the chooks in America are nicely in bed for the evening. But uh, as we share some music from Stones of Eden, and uh, Brad on the left, Donna in the middle, and uh, Joe behind there on the on the piano, and uh, tell us a little bit. Uh, firstly, welcome, but uh, firstly, tell us a little bit about the first song that you have for us. Thanks again for having us, again. Um, our first song today is called A Storm Is Coming, and this is one that I've written during this uh, last few years in the COVID times. And um, I suppose it's a song that, you know, we get so caught up in the daily life and chooks, gardens, kids, um, work, all those things and chores and it's, you know, we often uh, tech, it's so easy to get caught up on Facebook or something like that. And um, it's about how time, you know, there's a storm coming. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm better at singing than talking, I hope. <laughs> Not normally. <laughs> um, yeah. They're fighting words. <laughs> Uh, just that, you know, God is always there waiting for us and, um, yeah, he's calling out to us too. We've just got to remember to focus on him and make time for him amongst all those crazy, busy things of life. Do I start this? <laughs> yeah, you can start. <laughs>
that's so beautiful. A storm is coming. You're listening to Sounds of Eden on Red's Room, concert 285 this Friday evening. And uh, look, it, it's absolutely wonderful to catch up with you. Uh, we haven't actually met yet. Uh, no. And this is the first time we've sort of seen you live and face to face. We've had plenty of chats on Facebook and uh, social medias, <laughs> but uh, it's just wonderful to be able to be uh, live with you, so to speak, on Red's Room tonight and uh, to be sharing some of your wonderful songs uh, that you are putting together for uh, a new album. You have two albums out. Uh, now, I've got to get this right. Turn to the Heavens was released around 2019. And uh, your second album, Hilasterian? Hilasterian? Yeah. How, now, t fill me in on this. How do you say that incredible word? Hilasterian, so yeah, it's Greek for like the mercy seat on the on the Ark of the Covenant. So it just means, um, yeah, the atonement and God is with us. And yeah, so I it caught my attention once. I thought, oh, that'll be a good name for the album cover. And once I worked out, yeah, it's just the covering, God's covering, basically. It's in Greek, so it's a, the translation's a little in English, a little bit. You know, it can be taken a few ways. Hilasterian, uh, released in 2022, and you're working on a new album, and we're going to be hearing uh, three more of the songs that you hope to have on that album this evening as you share on Red's Room. Um, I, I'm just amazed by you two because uh, you, you've been together for a little while, but you're sort of newbies when it comes to guitar and learning guitar and writing songs and stuff like that, but you're doing it so well. Thank you. We we're very new, very raw, well. just make it up as you go along. Try learning, yeah, because we're a bit older starting with this, it's, um, yeah, the learning curve. We're learning on the fly, basically, with everything. So we've got a lot of time to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes the learning on the fly is the best kind of learning there is. And Brad, uh, you're certainly doing it so well. You're uh, you're not originally from uh, Newcastle. You're you're from a little bit further west, aren't you? Yeah, very west, uh, Perth, basically. So Mandra, which is even south of Perth. So yeah, met Donna. 10 years ago and I had to come over here. She wasn't going to come to WA, so <laughs> I ended good up here. Donna, good decision. <laughs> I've been to interstate before and that didn't work, so <laughs> I wasn't doing it again. <laughs> Good on you indeed. Tell us a little bit about the uh, the second song that you have to share with us this evening. So this song is another one. This one's actually just been released as a single. So this one's available with a better version of probably what we're about to do. <laughs> <laughs> this is called Are You Listening? So this song is my reflective song of when I first became a Christian and that it's like it's that first prayer to God. So if you've never prayed before, this is the song for you, hopefully. And... Um, or basically, if you've gone away for a little while and come back, it's, it's something that, you know, you can still reflect on and connect with God for that first time over again. And we're going to use a backing track, I think. Yeah, yes, so hopefully that's all right. <laughs> Lord, are you listening? 
Right, you're listening, uh, premiered for Stones of Eden on Aussie Grown across the nation uh, a few weeks ago. And it's due to come up again uh, the week after next uh, on Aussie Grown across the nation, which you can hear on the Christian Media uh, Spotlight Radio Network across the West Coast uh, and uh, uh, the uh, Christian Mix 106 uh, on the East Coast of America, but uh, online around the world as we are blessed with Stones of Eden, Brad and Donna with uh, Joe on keys in the background there and uh, listening to some of the... Hiding beautiful... behind the pole. <laughs> Beg your pardon? She likes to hide. She's hiding behind the microphone pole. <laughs> yes. Uh, she, was, she was doing it very well too before you introduced her. I, I didn't spot that. She, she's done that well. Um, uh, we're listening to songs that will be hopefully... God willing, on your third album, and uh, look, your previous album was a bit of a, a concept album. Is that something that you are carrying over into the new uh, plans for the new record? Uh, not as not the Hellasterium was just like the Bible in in song. So from the the main theme and the, the war in heaven, then came to the garden, even then the journey through um, God's plan of the Messiah came and then Jesus' time and then the second coming, whereas this is, it is a theme, it's called A Storm Is Coming, which is that song that we were saying earlier, it's based off that, but all the songs are all out of that climatic time of um, the pandemic and we, we believe that was just a, like a warning shot of um, what's to come, so <laughs> that these, these songs are all, it is a concept in that, they're all based around that, so they have a... They're all joined. It's all linked together, but not so much like Hillisteria. And uh, is this album going to be like a full album or an EP? Or and and uh, what's the what's the thought process in releasing singles? Uh, will it be uh, like a few singles and then releasing the album? We've had two singles already that are songs that are going to be on this album, which was "Walk Through the Fire," which came out earlier in the year the year's gone so fast and then this uh are you listening we sang before they're all that's also on the album and there's gonna be 10 songs all together so there's another eight wow um, we've got three more to record we, we've got three more to record yeah <laughs> but yeah it'll probably be out early next year with time and christmas and all all those things so we're not really releasing any more singles of it Wow, no, I'm, so looking, I'm so looking forward to hearing it all. And uh, look, especially if Joe's on there as well. She's she going oh, to be playing yeah. a bit of keys? Joe's on all. <laughs> we couldn't have done it without her. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. I love to hear that sort of thing. So thank you, Joe, for your contribution to uh, the Stones of Eden's beautiful music and songs. Uh, now, who's going to share a little bit about the uh, about the third song we, we're going to hear this evening? I think I've been given that one because this is off Hillisterian album and well we added to the Hillisterian album because it's off the uh, new song collective that we were asked to do a song for that and so we come up with this song and they had a theme running and I can't recall what the theme was about but this song's about the Garden of Gethsemane and Jesus experiencing that and how his disciples fell asleep and at that important time and when history, our, our life was on the line, basically, because if Jesus didn't go through with that, then there would have been no hope for us. And and how the um, angels came down and administered to Christ after we went to strengthen him to go through what he had to go through. And it's the same with us. Like, we, with any of our trials, God's always there through his spirit, through his angels to pick us up. And we could look forward to the real heaven coming down when Jesus comes and, and takes us all home. So this song is called. Uh, You're up. This is a lot of song. Of the <laughs> Oh uh -huh. 
Well, I can't wait to hear the rest of this album. If those songs are any indication of what will be on it, because uh, they have piqued my imagination and filled me with inspiration. Thank you so much, Brad and uh, Donna. And you have one more song for us uh, this evening. And uh, please share a little about this song. So this song is called Hiding in the Shadows. Um, it's one that came out, I wrote after talking with a pastor about being too scared to get up and do this and sing in front of people. Um, you just worry about stuffing up like I just did many times in that last one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, I just, just got to learn to keep going and ignore that and um, find a place. And <laughs> That's why we love recording, because you can keep going until you get it right. <laughs> Recording's yeah, fun, right. yeah, whereas playing live's a completely different thing. <laughs> if you um, hadn't said anything, I wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> Don't watch the replay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was used to playing with a capo before that for the other two, and then I was trying to play down here. I'm like, that's not working. <laughs> and that was the start of the six. Anyway, um, yeah, hiding in the shadows. So basically it comes from, you know, just being too scared to put yourself out there in case people see your flaws and see who you are and that you're not perfect and that, you know, you're very normal and you've got lots of things. But these days, everyone likes to show the perfect side. But yeah, so it makes it a bit scary when you see everyone being so perfect that you feel like you have to be perfect. But yeah, you, you don't need to be. God want, loves us all and wants us all to be as we are. Hiding in the shadows, it's Stones of Eden on Red's Room this Friday evening. As I walk this jagged road, some come and some down go. People all around, there's a loneliness I've always found. What if I stumble or I fall? Will the fear just carry on? True.
Hiding in the Shadows, Stones of Eden. I wanted to ask you about uh, the name of your band. How did Stones of Eden come about? Well, we want, uh, we were going to have like Living Stones. It comes out of 1st or 2nd Peter uh, 2.14, where we're all of stones built up for the heavenly temple. And so Living Stones was taken. So we, I, like, I love the story of Eden and the Garden of Eden. So a lot of my songs, are, that fascinates me. So the stones are like, represents people, people of Eden. We come from Eden, we're going back to Eden restored. So basically that's in a nutshell. I love that story. Stones remind me of uh, rocky ground and uh, hard to work ground, and uh, that describes people for me quite quite well. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thank you so much for sharing your songs with us this evening, Stones of Eden and Joe on keys, and uh, we can't wait for the album to come out so we can hear you all playing so beautifully once again together. And uh, may we pray for you as well. Definitely. Yes, indeed. Uh, lift our hands up to our Heavenly Father and pray for Stones of Eden. And uh, we play, uh, pray that uh, you would continue to bless this beautiful couple and surround them with wonderful musicians like Joe and many more that can fill out their songs and give them life, more life than you even uh, could imagine. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have continued to bless them richly with your music, with your gifts, with your talents but especially your words and your love for people and sharing the gospel of Jesus with others. Thank you for their songs. Thank you for their commitment to uh, learning their instruments and learning their vocals and learning all new things as they step out of those shadows into your wonderful, wonderful light to share the glory of your kingdom. Lord, we pray for provision to finish uh, the album and to record the rest of those songs and to get all of those things done that need to be done so that more and more people can hear these wonderful songs that you have blessed Stones of Eden with in these uh, last few months. Continue to bless them with your writing and inspiration, Lord, as well, as we pray over Brad and Donna and Joe from Stones of Eden today and uh, continue to bless them and love them and guide them in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much again for having us.